So this is the last day of our 10 day canine free enrichment challenge. And we are going to design what's called a busy box. And a busy box is a type of enrichment activity where this box um, is going to have a bunch of different items in it. And I'm going to hide food in all of these items and then I'm gonna put them back in the box. So I just kind of picked um, what I had available at home. I had a water bottle. I had a mac and cheese box, crystal light box, and I had some toilet paper rolls. Now, if I had had more toilet paper rolls, a really fun box that I've done in the past with my dogs is I've taken these rolls and I've saved up enough of them. It took me maybe a month to save up for all of them. My box was a little bit smaller at the time, maybe half this size. And I had enough rolls to line them all up in the box and pack them in, you know, varying degrees of tightness in the beginning. You don't want it to be super tight or the dog won't be able to figure it out. And I'll show you how to introduce them to the box and this will make more sense. But if you wanted this to be a harder challenge for your dog, they're used to doing these kinds of puzzles, you can save up more of these and stack them all in here and squish them together. And then you hide your treats in there and the dog has to pull each one of them out in order to get the kibble in there. And it's super fun. But if your dog is a beginner, they will not figure that out, they'll get frustrated. So we want to minimize frustration whenever we start working with boxes or bottles or containers. Frustration can get you behaviors you do not want. You do not want your dog to destroy these things. You want your dogs to play with them, bat them around, throw them up in the air. They may put their mouth on them, that's fine. Um, but you really don't want your dog just like tearing it all up. Um, that's usually going to mean your dog is fairly frustrated and you need to make it easier for them. So I'm going to show you how I introduce the items first that I'm going to put inside the busy box. So this is Ryder and he's very enthusiastic. Um, the other thing I wanted to warn you guys about is if you have a dog that just eats everything, like as soon as you offer it to him, they would just grab it and try and swallow it, then I would switch to PVC pipes instead of using toilet paper rolls. Because this, if your dog really wanted to and you had a large dog, they could just chomp it and swallow it and you don't want that to happen. So, but I'm pretty sure Ryder's not gonna do that. Um, but if he does, I'm just gonna throw some treats on the ground and try and get rid of, try and get it away from him. But I don't think that's gonna happen. All right, so, here we go, he's on the tie down. He's an eager beaver and he would just be in everything. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just show him that there is a treat. In here. So if he knows that he can just kind of bat this over and get the treat out, then he's not going to get frustrated and try and chew it up because that I do not want. So now that I have that happening, I'm gonna do this inside the box. Right or leave it. Thank you. So I'm gonna do that same exercise I just did with him, but now inside the box. So that he knows it's the same exact game. And now I'm gonna hook him back on his tie down. Um, I have been working on his stay, but it's not great yet. So I'm going to put him on the tie down while I do some more preparation here. So now I could put some more of these in here. Of course we have a food truck going in the background that always happens when we try and video. All right, so I have the treats in there. I'm clipping from the tie down, okay. And now I just want him to get in there and bat them around. And he can get inside the box, that's just fine. And this, at this stage, it should be very, very easy for them. Again, we don't want the dog to be frustrated at all. We want it to be very, very easy for them to get the food out. So that was fantastic. The next phase is to have items that are a little bit more challenging. So I'm gonna start with this smaller box. So this is the easiest level, of just having the box completely open. And actually you could make it even easier by opening the other side. So if you have a dog that is, you're really trying to build their confidence, you may wanna open both sides of the box. 
Um, I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna see if I have to do that with brighter or not. I'll just see here. So I'm gonna put some treats inside there and I'm gonna give that to him and let him kind of push this around. I might have to take him off the tie down for this. Right or me. So I am getting down. Stay. It's not as easy as I would like it to be for him. Down. So I'm going to go ahead and open this other side. I can always tape it back up. So this is the easiest level that I can have it at for him. That was easy, wasn't it? Okay, okay. Make it harder for him, isn't it? If he squishes it with his paw. Good boy. Get in there. Get in there. Good boy. So he hasn't quite figured out how to get the treats out of the box yet. Like if I squish it, does that is that what makes it come out? Oh, he got him out. Good. Yeah. Stay. So now what I could do is I can, look at that, he's staying. I can't believe he's staying. Good boy. So if you do it the right way, your canine enrichment, if, you know, if you're requiring some basic self-control behavior while you're putting your puzzles together, you're doing training, you don't even know you're doing training. It's awesome. I'm gonna reward him again for staying. I'm going to say, okay, and let him have at it again. And again, I don't have it all squished in there and made it tight yet because that would be frustrating for him. I want it to be super easy for him just to bat it all around. I'm going to hold the box still just so the box stays in place. And he has to bat the items around inside the box. And... Oh, you got them all. All right. Down. Right here. Down. So, the next level could be, I could add the mac and cheese box. Um, and I would probably have to take the end off of this one again. Um, I could add a bottle. So, bottles are fun. You see how this has this little plastic rim on it? Um, if I would probably want to cut this off, but I'm going to be right here watching him, so I'm not worried about it right now, but I just want to point that out that you guys need to cut those plastic pieces off. So I'm going to give him the bottle now, and I'm going to start by having the treats come out there so he knows what end the treats come out of. And then I'm going to see if he can figure this out himself, how to get the treats out. And now's where you might want to get your dog chasing it a little bit. So they can try and figure out how to get the treats out of the bottle. And once they give you some behavior with the bottle, you can go ahead and dump some out. This has some water in it. It's making my treat stick, which is not ideal. But we'll put some more in there to make it easier. You might want to start with a smaller bottle, one about half this size would be good. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Ready? Ready? Oh, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. Good job. Right up, right here. Good boy, go. Good boy, good boy, good boy, yeah. So this bottle isn't the greatest. It's, he's having a hard time getting them out. So I'm not gonna put this bottle in my busy box quite yet. Good boy, down. But I could certainly spend time, more time on the bottle. Ryder, down, 
stay. And be getting him used to that, stay. But for videoing purposes, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go back to the things that, down. That worked nicely. And again, you can be doing this with their dinner. It doesn't have to be treats. It doesn't have to be extra calories. You can just be using their kibble for this. I'm gonna put some down. Thank you. Okay. I'm just holding the box still so that the box doesn't go everywhere. Now he's working on that mac and cheese box in there. This is perfect. So I really like both the ends being open to start with to make it easier for the kibbles to come out. We will be showing some more advanced options in our online classroom, but this is just the beginner version. <laughs> And obviously this is why you would want to supervise your dog doing this because while that is hysterical, um, if it really got trapped on his face, obviously I would rescue him and I wouldn't want that to happen to him by himself. All right, let's see. Did you get all the ones out of here? No. So here. I'm just gonna give him the box of the wig, the mac and cheese box. So this still has some, <laughs> some treats in it. And making it flat is not gonna help your cause, dude. Here, where is it? Where is it? They're in there. So he hasn't quite figured out yet that he needs to roll this around or flip it over. And with more practice, he would start learning that squishing it and probably licking it is not going to be the best way to get the treats out, but to roll it around would be the best way. Right over here. Here, buddy. I'm just trying to keep him to where you guys can see it. Good boy. And if this were at home, I wouldn't really care, you know, where he took the box necessarily but I'm just trying to keep it front and center for the camera here. And the other thing is, um, a lot of people have concerns about doing these busy boxes. They think their dog's going to dig in the trash more. Um, and that's why uh, when we had put out our free canine enrichment PDF, we talked about creating an area in your home that you do the enrichment. So my dogs don't get in the trash. They know the difference between the games we play and the trash. I also work leave it around the trash so that they know that is not what they play with. I also don't leave them alone where they can access my trash. Um, and this is a supervised activity where we do it in a certain spot in our little play area. And he knows that's when it's okay to play with these types of items. He's not stealing these off my coffee tables or anything like that because I have worked on leave it. And he is a mischievous guy, so he does spend some time on a tie down in my house because um, he he's just kind of busy and into everything. Um, this is a tie down right here on the wall. And when I'm not watching him, I will put him um, on a tie down that's like wrapped around my couch leg or a stair banister in the room that I'm hanging out in. He has a bone and a bed there, and that's just kind of teaching him that's what I want him to do uh, when I'm not paying attention to him. So hopefully that answers any concerns you guys have about using some household items for your enrichment. Um, this is, again, a game that has limitless possibilities. Um, I really like starting with the toilet paper rolls because that's so super easy, and then build my way to more complex um, containers to put my treats in. So make sure you post your videos. We, everybody wants to see what everybody else is doing. You guys have been kind of quiet. We really want to hear from you guys. We are willing to keep doing this challenge once a week if we hear from you that you want us to do it. My dogs have loved it. I know that you guys have told me in person you love doing it. Now we just got to see those videos. So um, have a great Halloween and we will see you in November.